One day, Telepanu, the god who made living things fertile, became furious and shouted, I am so angry! No one should come near me! Ugh! He was so upset, they tried to put his right shoe upon his left foot and his left shoe upon his right foot! Ugh, this made him even more angry! He was so angry that he stormed off! Telepanu's rage upset the entire world of nature. Mists swirled over the countryside, fogging the windows of houses. Smoke invaded people's homes and their fireplaces. Logs smoldered, but no longer burned. Corn, wheat, and barley no longer grew in the fields. All vegetation withered and died. Without moisture, the mountains and hills dried up. The trees also shriveled. They can no longer bring forth fresh growth. The pastures became parched and the springs evaporated. Famine arose in the land. Both human beings and gods feared that they would all die of starvation. The great sun god prepared a meal and invited the thousand gods. They ate but could not satisfy their hunger. Ah. Um. Do you think it's a bit strange? Where's Flappanu? Uh, he hasn't been here in a while. I have no idea where he went. He's so angry! We must find him! Yes, we should. Let's go find him! The great gods and the lesser gods began to search for Telepanu. They wandered over hill and dale. They crossed over lakes and streams. But they could not find him. Then he summoned the eagle. Eagle, I summon ye. But the eagle could not find him either. The storm god became worried and angry. He went to his father and said, Who has offended my son so that the seeds have dried up and everything is withered? The only one who's offended him is you. You are to blame for this. You are wrong. I am not responsible. Yes, you are. Go look for Telepanu now. If I find you're guilty, I'll kill you. Goddess. Telepanu has become so angry that the seeds have died and everything is dried up. My father tells me that it is my fault, and he intends to look into the matter, and he will kill me. What has happened? What will we do? If Telepanu is not found soon, we will all die of hunger. Don't worry about it, okay? If it's your fault, I'll correct it. If it's not your fault, I will still correct it. Now let's go look for Telepanu. Hurry, your winds can stretch far and wide. So Torhun began to search for Telepanu. He went to his son's city and knocked at the gate of his house. But no one responded, and the gate remained closed. Then he lost his temper and broke into Telepanu's house. But he still could not find his son, so he gave up and returned to Nintu. I cannot find him at home, he said. Where else should I search? Nintu replied, Calm yourself! I will bring him to you! Just bring me the bee. Once Nintu was delivered the bee, she said these words to it. Little bee, go and search for Telepanu. When you find him, sting his hands and his feet. Sting him until he springs to his feet. Then take some of your wax and wipe his eyes and feet, purify him and bring him before me. After much searching, the bee finally found Telepanu, sleeping off his days. Started stinging him everywhere. He's so fast, looking like multiple bees. And the bee asked him, What are you doing here sleeping? I simply left because I was so angry. How dare you talk to me because I am so angry. Telepanu became more enraged. He damned all the flowing rivers. And suddenly all the rivers started overflowing. There was massive flooding everywhere. There was water coming left and right. 
Basements were flooded. The gods became very frightened and asked, Why has Telepnu come become so angry? What will we do? What will we do? Then they came up with an answer. Let the goddess of magic and healing come to Telepnu. So the goddess of magic and healing came to Telepnu with various gifts to satisfy him. Here, Telepnu, take the staff of everlasting joy and the pot of peace. No, well, not too angry anymore. It's pretty great. And we have peace in our time. We did it! And Telepanu was happy. A pole was set up before Telepanu, and from it the fleece of a sheep was suspended. It signified abundance, plentiful grain and wine, fat cattle and sheep, and successive generations of children. It signified fruitful breezes and fertility for every living thing. The end. Telepnu has become so angry. <laughs> don't, don't use that. <laughs> I coughed out snot everywhere. Okay, we'll leave that. I am the most so it doesn't look Telepnu grew still more enraged. He stalked about, causing further damage. He dammed whatever strings still bubbled. He made the flowing rivers overflow their banks, creating devastating floods. You were like on the edge of the shit. <laughs> hey, the bee searched everywhere for Telepanu. Finally, it found it. Telepanu was there sleeping. <laughs> oh my god. Are you alright? I'm good. <laughs>